Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that sometimes along your journey, you must reflect on the advice that you're given or that you were given. By this, I mean, I had a person in my life at one point, and uh, we would talk about different things, you know, as far as what we, uh, advice that we had given growing up as children. One thing for myself was being told to think that you can do something by yourself is stupid. My father told me that. Stupid. You need people. Now, at this point in my journey, I understand what he meant as far as needing people. However, as a child, I was a preteen, about 12, 13. I took that advice as, oh, well, I'll never be able to do something on my own. And I operated like that for a while, for a long time. And then I began to take stock of myself. The purge that I referenced before, I began to purge some of these things that were uh, provided to me that I chose to accept as the truth or as reality. And it changed my world. Now, for this other person that was in my life, they were told that when they go through something or they have emotions, to let it all out. In the proper space, that may work. But if you have this pent up anger and aggression and you let it out as soon as you as soon as you encounter some kind of frustration or resistance and you react instead of respond as you become older it really begins to take a toll on your life it really begins to hold you back and create obstacles in your journey that are unneeded because it sets an expectation of I don't know how to deal with these feelings, so I'm going to throw them on everybody else and have them deal with it. It's their problem. I'm not the problem. Them not being able to deal with my problems is the issue. See, that's scary. That's scary because not only are you not allowing yourself the ability, the opportunity to find out who you truly are and to find out ways or uh, not even around, but ways to deal with some of these things that bother you or even find out why it's bothering you but you're forcing everybody around you to tolerate you to tolerate things from you that they won't tolerate from themselves very harmful so much so that me and that person no longer have a relationship because I got tired of tolerating see there's two things with that there's whatever that person is experiencing, which I don't know what they're experiencing in life because they're going along their way and I'm going along mine. But for myself, it showed me how much power you give away by forcing others to tolerate you. See, you don't, you don't take accountability for self when you operate that way. And when you don't take accountability for self, you hold others accountable for your moves for your actions or lack thereof. In my perspective, that's a scary place to be in. It's scary. Because you're not only removing opportunity for you to be whole within, but you're also keeping yourself at a deficit so that you will never feel whole, but you require others around you to make you feel whole. So you're taking away from them. You're not giving to yourself, and in doing so, you're taking away from others. And after a while, that becomes a way of life. It can be very scary. Very. I've been in that place before, so I'm not just talking because I, it's a theory. No, this is it's real life experience. If you find yourself in that kind of place, to where you react to things more often than you simply take time to reflect and respond, please know that it's okay to sit still with that uncomfortable feeling and understand or attempt to understand why you feel that way. And if it's difficult for you, find someone who can provide a safe space with the understanding of they're there to help you work through that. I hope this reaches somebody. I don't know why it came on my heart, but I decided to share it because God guided me to. Uh, I hope this rain hasn't messed up the message. And until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.